<laughs> Boys up here, y'all good? Y'all good? Yeah, I ain't calling no one out. <laughs> no. What about the people in the back? Can y'all hear me? Hopefully my nerves are a little bit better this time. So what about y'all? Over here? Good. Oh, I good. I see eyeballs. Good. Great. Okay. So let's go over number two. All right. What do we need to find first in our fifth number? Like, what's the first one? Our atmosphere, yes, which would be our pressure, right? So what is our pressure in this problem? Awesome. Okay, what about our volume? I can't hear. 600,000. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. That's a lot. And someone that has to drink a lot of water? Uh, yeah. That's okay. Okay, so what about our moles? That's what we're trying to find, right? Mm -hmm. Because we need how yeah. we need find how many grams of nitrogen, right? All right, let's just make a little note about nitrogen. Nitrogen is a diatomic, so what does that mean? N2. N2. We'll just put N2 right here, if that's okay. Oh, that two is awesome. <laughs> Thank y'all. Okay, what's our constant? 0 0.0821. And what is our temperature? Yeah. Remember, so we have Celsius, so we need to convert it to Kelvin, right? Mm -hmm. So it would be So what would it be after we convert it? So what did we get? Um, okay, so what did we get for our PV side, our pressure and our volume side? 600,000. 600,000. 24.0553. Okay, say that one more time. 24.0553. So for this, um, we're just going to round it to the two, so I just 24.06 is good. Okay. 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 So after this, what do we find for our models? If we need to recalculate, that's okay, because we round up a little bit. Without multiplying it twice. Yeah, yeah, this is just, this is this just, is just doing this part. Your oh, okay. um, You're finding the moles of N2, uh, of your nitrogen. 24942. Oh, yeah. So 24. 24,000. Oh, 24,000. 24,000. What was it? 942. Okay. Of the intake. Okay, so this is our moles. What do we need to do next? Because we're not done yet, because we need to find. Convert it to units. All right, how do we do that? Yeah. You multiply by the molar mass. Okay, and where do we find that from? Yeah. All right, so what'd y'all get for the molar mass of N2? Not 14, because yeah. it's a diatomic, so you would multiply that 14 how many times? Twice. Twice. So it would be 28. 28. So what does it equal now? Well, I probably have all of this stuff now. Just 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 Alright, what did y'all get when y'all multiplied this out? Um, six hundred nine eight thousand seven hundred and thirty nine point um two. Okay. So six hundred and ninety eight thousand. And then 793. 793. Okay. So that is our grams of our N2 that are in the room. Alright. Does everybody agree with that? Are there any people that are still confused? Well, yeah, I didn't put a point on it. So we can multiply okay. yeah. by two before mm -hmm. So just a little bit of rounding difference. That's yeah, not a big deal. Okay, besides the rounding difference. 
This is important because we kind of need to make sure y'all understand. So, because you're going to do this and you're going to do it with our lab activity. So, anyone, any confusion anywhere? Because we can Especially about this problem because yes. I know just threw a diatomic in there. Yeah. Yeah. Just remember when it's a diatomic, we multiply. I need Kaylee Kirby to come to the office, please. <laughs> <laughs> Kaylee Kirby, thank you. <laughs> Okay. So everyone's good on this one problem? Everyone's good? Okay. Okay. Alright, does anybody still need this up there? Did anybody not get this and need to write it down? Okay. Notice on that problem, you're kind of combining two different concepts. You're finding moles, but then we also know, and we want to put that away. We also know, we want to put that away. We also know that uh, you can use PV equals NRT can find moles, and then we can use the molar mass to do what we've already known how to do, change moles to grams and grams to moles back and forth. So this ideal gas law gives us even more versatility, not just be able to find moles, but to be able to find grams as well. That's the second step. All right, so we're gonna do number three now. So uh, there was a lot of confusion about STP, so I know we talked to a lot of you guys. What does STP mean? Standard temperature and pressure. Standard temperature and pressure. So what is my standard temperature? 273 Celsius. In Celsius. Oh. Zero. All right, yeah, so your te standard temperature is always gonna be zero Celsius. Um, and what's your standard pressure? One. 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 Okay, we're solving for volume. Our moles, what was our moles given to us? One mole. And what is our constant? What's our ideal constant? Okay, perfect. And then our standard temperature was what? One more time? Celsius. All right, so then how are we going to convert this? Oh, I know I've been doing that this whole time. It's so bad. Okay. Yeah. Zero. Okay. So how do we convert this to? Plus 273. Plus 273. Plus 273. Gives me. Yep. But we just want to get to 273. 273. Okay. So, how are we going to solve our volume? So we have. Times our volume, it's going to be equal to 1 times 2. Okay, so what did y'all get when y'all did this? 22.4 meters. 22.4 meters. Okay. Did you have your 1s here, they kind of cancel, so you get volume is equal to 22.4 meters. All right, this value right here is important. So whenever, yeah, so one mole of gas is equal to 22.4 liters, always, okay? So that's why that's important. I don't know if on your test you're gonna be given that, but if you're not, memorize that, it's very important. Um, but yeah, did everybody get 22.4? All right, awesome. So how, hey, how big is 22.4 liters? Big. That box. That box. The size of the bathtub? No. Oh, okay. it's a mole. Yeah, yeah. That, that right there is 22.4 liters. So if you have one mole of any gas at nah, SPP, like okay, it's going to be 22.4. Shelby, get a picture of that. Shelby, I did. No, you put right, it up. Hold it up. Hold it up. Hold it up. I did. I did. Press the white button, Shelby. Oh, no, she's got it. She's got it. It's on the video. Taking, that's taking a picture. Well, you don't need to take a picture. I'm going to just you told it. No, I, I just meant to put it on the camera. I did it. There you go. I did it again. No. I don't know. I feel like Vano, is it Vano Rot or something like on the front? Vano Light. Yeah, yeah. 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 she's like, it's right. yeah. So, hey, 22.4, one mole of any gas. It's called molar volume. That's a huge, a very, very important. Uh, so, if it's 22.4 liters per mole, what is that a conversion factor? Is everyone okay with number three? I know some of us were kind of struggling with it. So, everyone's good? 
People at the front, y'all good? Yeah. Second row, y'all good? Crystal, you know, clear? Back? <laughs> Mud is <a> my <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> I did not spell leaders wrong. That's the English way of spelling leaders. And wherever that box came from was European. <laughs> 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 Did I not turn it off, Rob? No. It makes it blue. Uh, two times. One more time. Hey. Hey. Pretty sure it's all right. You guys are in college. You're supposed to be like Texas. Yeah. You read the screen? Yeah. Because it says it on the screen. This is so good. Look at the screen. Ah, everyone. Get him, Caroline. Let's give Miss Kent. Oh my goodness. Josiah is proud of you. Yeah. Side note, I've been out of high school for about four years now. It's been a while. Yeah. Yeah. How? Four. Four years. Okay, what are we doing now? Okay, y'all. So, she's gonna give y'all bags. You wanna do bags? Yeah. I already handled my bags. Okay. So, our big question. I had to write it kind of small, but this is our big question of our lab. So it's gonna be how many milliliters of vinegar and our grams of our um, sodium bicarbonate are gonna be needed to expand the bag. Okay. So we're gonna be using. Inert, which we just learned, and we're also going to be using stoichiometry to figure this out. So, here we have our chemical formula for the reaction that's going to be happening within your bag. So, of our products, which one of these is a gas? CO2. CO2. So, that is what we need to figure out how much CO2 we're making, we're going to make in order to figure out how much of these things we're going to need. Does that make sense? Okay, so we need to hear this oh, out. Yeah, we've already got the clock right now. Are there any ideas on how we might figure out how much CO2? Oh, you okay. Not stoic. Oh. Geometry, no. All right, what did we just do? We just did. We just calculated the moles of yes. gas, right? So we use Pibnert. Well, this Smart. I was about to come and tell y'all about it. Use it back here. Oh. Okay, so which one of these things are we going to be solving for? In our equation right here. N. Perfect. Okay. So. I have the pressure, temperature, and the volume for everything you need right now, okay? So the pressure of the room right now, if y'all want to write this down because y'all are going to need to know this. Y'all, y'all, you're going to have to write this down, okay? So the temperature of your room right now is 22.2 degrees Celsius. So I'd write that down. 22.2. Two, yeah, degrees Celsius. Your pressure of your room right now is going to be 0 0.998 atm. Yep. There we get that. Okay. And then your volume of your bag, which is what you're going to be expanding, is 0 0.94 liters. Just nine. What's the, pres what's yeah. the pressure again? The pressure is 0 0.998. And the R, what, yeah, what, R, R is what? Perfect, 0 0.0821. All right, so now with all that information, I want you guys to calculate how many moles of CO2 you're going to be producing in your bag, okay? Use that Pivnerd equation.
How's it going, y'all? Everybody doing okay? Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you want to find the grams or just mold? No, you're just doing mold right now. Okay. Yeah. After y'all done, y'all can discuss with y'all's groups. Kind of talk about what answers y'all got and calculations, try to help each other out. Uh, one point zero one mold. No. <laughs> Not one, like that, Hudson. Mine, mine. <laughs> <Just that>. <laughs> <laughs> okay, your group's out here that you're with. After y'all get done, uh -oh. kind of help you. Yeah. Okay, the smallest one is zero point one. Yeah, that's what I know. Yeah, it is. Oh, it's not. We don't need them to work on this. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we got it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 Alden's gonna like get the baking soda all over the table. I will not. She literally said the volume is zero. Yeah. Is that an old rose main part? That's the occasion. Oh, yeah. But we yeah. oh, yeah. I messed up that. I think that is my fault. Uh, yeah, that's my fault. Okay. Yeah, I think it's like Yes, I got. Oh, yeah, I got. 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 You don't, you don't have to keep smelling it if it's bad. Yeah, <laughs> I can't smell it from here. Yeah, yeah, that's that's what what you can smell it from here. Yeah, I can't 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 smell it from here. Yeah, Anytime I do a clip, I'm not going to say how you do it because it just goes We all got the same answer. What's up? Let's see, that's not happening. Why did you not do that? Oh, that was going to be a good one. No, that's the. See, you did it wrong. I don't know. 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 I don't our volume is 0 0.94 liters. 0 .94. Okay, I thought for the gas you always use the other one. It's That's okay. only if you have one mole. Yeah, it's only if you have one mole of oh. gas. Yeah, yeah. Yes. No wonder I got one mole when I saw that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, are we good now? Okay. Okay, so what did y'all get for y'all's moles? What'd you get? 0 .039. Good idea. Yeah, 0 0.039, 0 0.04. Alright, good. Okay, so I'm going to write down, because I, 0 0.3, or 0 0.0, .0 sorry. 0 .3, I got 8, 7, 9, 4, it's all good. Okay, so that's your moles. Okay. So, I'm going to put that, that's how many moles of CO2 that we're ending up with, okay? So, we're going to end up with 0 0.0, what was it, 387? Okay. So, now we're going to go into stoichiometry, okay? So, <laughs> good for us. Our equation is already balanced, so what is our molar ratio between our reactants and the CO2. One to one. It's all one to one, right? So this, that means that I start out with no carbon dioxide, right? Like I don't have any because I haven't started my reaction yet. And I ended with this. So how much did I add? 0 0.03. Perfect. I added this exact amount. Okay, so that means how much did I use of each of these? If it's all one to one, however much I add is however much I take away, right? So I use this exact amount of all of these. So I'm going to need 0 0.0387 moles of both of these things. Does that all make sense how I did that, everybody? Yeah? Okay. 
So, how am I going to get? How am I going to figure out how many grams I need of my sodium bicarbonate? You need to find the molar mass. And then the molar mass, perfect. And then I'm going to just multiply by that. Okay, so y'all go ahead and do that. So find your molar mass of your sodium bicarbonate. Figure out how many grams you'll need, okay? There's a table on the front cover of those books in front of you, too. I'm going to find it. The front back cover of the black book and the front cover of the gray book. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm just oh, looking at it. Yeah. <laughs> Hudson, your your periodic table is on our desk. What? It says Hudson okay, Gibbs. Oh, I was, I was looking for it. Who's in the book? <laughs> it's been sitting there for like two weeks. I was looking for it earlier that way. I can't find it. Oh, yeah. And just look in the table. Mm. So what's it equal? I can't even see that. What? What's your multiply? Okay, now we're here. Oh my god. What's the can? The can. Multiply it by this. What is that? 84. Like, what's one times 200,000? What's one times 200,000? Uh, molar mass. Uh, that's a good question. Do you know 100 million? Oh. Zero. At this million. moment, oh, 700 million. Zero. <laughs> I'm kind of feeling we're getting a little confused. Yeah, so, the, ask questions. Don't just want to get joked. Yeah, that's the other one. Oh. Okay. I'm going to start in the back. We're just going to take individual questions off. Y'all, yeah. what is it that it's kind of shaky? Okay. Is it the number? Yeah. Is it the moles? I heard the question is, what are we trying to find? Thank you. Okay. okay. If you don't know what you're looking for, you probably never find it. Lies. Okay, so we're going to start back over. So. We calculate a number of moles of CO2, right? That's how much we're producing, okay? So that means that we, yeah, produce that much. So since I have a one-to-one -one ratio between all of these, I know that exactly how much I produce is exactly how much I use, because this is one-to-one. -one. If this was a two in front of this, then it would be double the amount. Does that make sense? So you're using stoichiometry, your molar ratios. So right now, we're trying to find our grams of our NaHCO3 that we're gonna need to use, okay? So you're gonna take this number and multiply it by your molar mass. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 No, no, no. Just for just for your sodium bicarbonate right now, okay? It's baking soda. Okay, hey, let me just take one second here, just kind of clarify. Okay. When we did stoichiometry, we went mass to moles, moles to mass, right? We went mass to moles, and what did we use as the conversion factor for mass to moles? Molar mass, always. Okay, and then this was the mole ratio, and then we used the molar mass to go back to mass. All we're doing differently now is that we use the ideal gas law, gas volume, not at STP, but the first step of stoichiometry is always convert to moles. So we're using that to convert to moles, but now I have my moles are given. Now I need to find my mass and my unknown. The rest is just like normal stoichiometry. Right? Does that make sense? Okay, so that's what we're doing here. Okay, we're using ideal gas law to find moles and then using that to do the rest of the stoichiometry just like we've already learned. Just of the two reactants. Just the sodium bicarbonate. That's right. The second of the sodium Thank you. What's the answer? No. 
solution that you have. So your so your molarity of your vinegar is 
and it's called molarity, is 0 0.839. And I got numbers everywhere. I'm going to go ahead and erase this part. So it's zero. Yeah, we really need to get pops. Yeah, these markers are. I can. If you want, I practice my basketball on those. You literally do. I show my basketball skills. Do it, do it. All right, 0 0.839. Your molarity is moles over liters. Okay? So if I have moles, then I can multiply by liters in order to, does that make sense? So you just want to cancel out this L, the liter on the bottom, so you're going to multiply by liters to get what you're looking for in the end. Okay, so how many moles do we have? 0 0.032. All right, so I have 0 0.0387, and that is my moles. All right, so now what am I going to do? I could use that 0.839 moles per liter to get the liters. Who's that one that's? Oh, excuse me, multiply them by each other? Yes, you're going to multiply them by each other. Sorry, I said moles earlier. You're trying to cancel out the moles, not the liters. My bad. I'm all over the place. So, yes, you're going to multiply them by each other. Okay. So, after you cancel out the moles. one over. All right, so when you multiply these oh, together, what do you... Hold on, I'm sorry. You've got to make units. You've got to go one mole, one liter over 0.839 moles. One liter over 0.8, so you're going to end up dividing, not multiplying. Right? Set your units up. Set your units. One mole. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? You just like me. <laughs> <laughs> We're just going to go since this is my conversion factor. We're just going to go since this is my conversion factor. Oh. I'm going to say times one uh, liter over my 0.839 moles. Oh, we're doing dimensional analysis. Dimensional analysis, make your moles cancel so you're left with liters, so we know how many liters we need to use. Okay? So the, your moles per liter is your conversion factor between moles and liters. Oh, so we just divide it. Alright, perfect. 0.0. 
four, four six, 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 and then a one if you'd like. All right, so we're not going to be measuring in liters. We're going to measure in milliliters. So how am I going to convert to milliliters? Times 100, and what do you get? Just another zero. Uh, 46 milliliters. Four point six. Four point six. Yeah. I use 
Okay. This is all text. Text. Okay. Bro, that's, I used almost all of it. It's like a, not even like. Uh, you only have no That's mine. This is not Yeah. 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 Should we wait or just go and do it now? All right. Maybe do like part of the bag open and then just dump it in. Do like part of the bag open and then just dump it in. Okay, that works. Are these bags big enough? Throw up. The camera's still recording. Hey. Hey. Hey, you stole my spotlight. Yeah. That's close enough. Producing a good bit of gas. Look, yeah. it's blowing up. Don't explode anything. Okay. Oh, I'm about to I'm to i Okay. They're taking absolutely no up, bro. Oh, well, it's it's hey, fancy word. It's the effervescence. I love that word. I love that word so much. So, as soon as you start your lab activity, when you put your baking soda with your vinegar, what's right out some observation? What are we saying? Like, what's happening in the bag? What's happening in the vinegar? Does that make it endo or exothermic? Uh, uh, exo. Like eight years what? You, you say know. both. You can't you say both. Shoot. Wait, so I forgot. I forgot. It's getting cold. Endo. Endo. Yeah. It's going down. Endo. Oh, 
Oh, it, it's expanding. So what are you thinking, Chad? What are you saying? Right. Well, I mean, I'm like, I guess so. I don't know. <laughs> it's just fun. Being gentle with me. up here. Okay. How you doing, Shelby? Did you get it? No. Not I'm yet? Yep. Constructive criticism. More baking soda. <sighs> baking soda. More baking soda. No. More baking soda. I'm going. Excuse me. Okay. The origin story. Oh, my gas. Sprite. 
No, it's not. <laughs> it's not scary. Oh. Why did you kick? What did you kick? Cans. Cans. You're on. Hey, I'm saving the world. Oh, Alright, it's 9.51. Let's kind of round it up. Alright, let's talk about observations a little bit. Home? So, <laughs> we did the math. Hudson. Yes. What was your observation? Um, so the second I put the uh, baking soda in there, and once I zipped it up, mm -hmm. I wasn't really looking at it the second like it touched because I was trying to uh -huh. zip it up. But once I zipped it up, I noticed that it was getting like really white, and now it's kind of resting down here. But before it was almost like up to about here with like bubbles, and then it started. Um, there were a lot of little bubbles in the sides, and it was still bubbling. Uh -huh. And then it got cold, and the bubbles calmed down, and now it just okay. feels like a little bit cold. Anyone else on Hudson's table? Did y'all make any other observations? Bubbling. All right, what about this table? Y'all had a long phone? Yeah. So. Cold. Cold? Okay. Okay, what about Shelby's group? How are y'all looking? What was it look like? Hey, I can't hear Josiah, please. Uh, it started like inflating the bag like mm -hmm. after it was uh, yeah. added. So, what, what about y'all? Have anything different that they haven't said yet? I heard it looks like Sprite. Yeah. Yeah? Not anymore. So <laughs> it's flat right now. It looks flat. Anything, <laughs> Chad, y'all? Well, I mean, it won't kill that. It doesn't taste good. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, right. Now, thank y'all so much for this. Y'all doing this? I'm gonna take up the bags real quick. Y'all take Aww. out? Yeah, I know. Y'all take out a piece of paper for your exit slip, please. And let's. And you can take your goggles off. Yeah, y'all are sorry. Caroline said it was a new fashion trend. So I think about it. Alright, y'all just write down three interesting things and maybe one thing y'all. Still not understand it. On a separate here? piece of paper? On a separate piece of paper. Yes. Oh, I'll say it just All of it. I don't Even know. know. Even if it's something else. When did you leave them? When did you leave It doesn't look like that complex of a formula anyways. Just three elements. I thought it would be like super long. <laughs> that was very underwhelming. <laughs> Yes, write your names on it, please. Y'all have a sink in here? Oh, yeah. 
Oh. <laughs> it actually smells better than the vinegar did before. No. It smells more like a fruity trash rather than a fruity trash. Alright, so James, one of the girls that was like said all that weird stuff to Harrison. She thinks it out, she's like, hey, you wanna hang out? Like, wait, this person here is some bullshit. I'll walk that. Is this okay to throw away near Mr. Robs? Yes. Just trying to make sure y'all don't have to, like, throw it in some weird can or something. Thank you. You too, Joe. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Goes, Shelby, you can pour out your bag. You pour out your bag. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Oh, where should I put my paper? The okay. two things. Okay. Everyone, make a stack right here with your exit slip right here. Wait, we have right here. Come back. Shelby, you can stop for video. Wait, oh, oh, remember to like and subscribe. Yeah, remember to like and subscribe. Give Mr. Hobbs to a hundred subs. Shameless. Did you stop recording?